Hello, hello, Crafty Mandis here, and welcome back to another episode of Stoneblock 2 Modded Minecraft. So today I have plans for this room right here. Uh, this is going to be our new machinery room slash storage area. So one of the things that I have noticed is that I am, I am really getting tired of, um, this system over here. It's really expensive and very time consuming to actually get all of these. And so I think I'm going to take some of the suggestions and actually switch over to RF tools because those are definitely a lot cheaper. And because if we come over here, let's see, where is modular storage? There we go. This, you know, this right here is basically a chest, redstone, quartz, and then the machine frame, which is blue dye, iron ingot, and gold nuggets really, really easy to make. And so I'm definitely thinking that that is going to be the way to go, especially since this, yeah, I keep filling this up rather rapidly. And I mean, I've only got four more modules that I can end up putting in here. And yeah, I, if I, the, the only reason why I did applied energy six, and this was where I wanted to go was because it is actually part of the quest line. And so, you know, I kind of went into this because that was what, um, kind of what was suggested, you know, suggested for it. However, what I want to do is actually set up, you know, RF tools up in, you know, in that area. And so I'm going to be moving, you know, a lot of this, you know, a lot of this stuff, um, upstairs. And then I'm also going to check out some of the, uh, the different generators and stuff because like these ones down here, uh, over here, here we go. Um, I've made, I've made a whole bunch of these. Um, let's see information. No. Okay trying to check no it's this one this one down here so it does 80 cf per tick um so not quite as good as the ones that we were having upstairs let's see because if we come over here let's see these are doing 130 rf per tick and it is a maximum power of 400 rf per tick um, so what I'm thinking, cause I can breed up, uh, oh, over here, there we go. I can breed up some more of these look, look, li li liquefacted coal cows and pretty much set up an entire system, you know, like this, um, so that we can end up getting these. Cause I think I, uh, let's see, augmentation. No, I can't. Okay. It's signalum. Signalum was the one and actually hold on compression. Let's see. Let's see if we can, oh, ah, if I can spell upgrade. Um, I think, were they in here? Yes. Okay. So there is, there is another level above this and that's the resonant upgrade. And so that requires the enderium ingots, the lumium gear and the py, uh, pyrothium dust. And so those might be a little bit, let's see, alloy smelter, enderium base and sand. And this is lead platinum. Ooh, yeah, we don't, yeah, we're not quite at that level yet. Um, I'm still working on the chickens and stuff. Um, as you can see, you know, we've got, we've got some breeding up still. So these are sulfur. Um, I started creating some more of the color chickens because those are going to be bases for, uh, some of the other stuff that we need. And we, for one, we need, we need to expand this again, because as you can see, we've already already starting to kind of fill it up. Um, and so one of the things I was thinking too, with the new system, what I might do is actually shoot this stuff straight up into the, um, into the storage system instead of putting them in, um, into the storage drawers, just shoot them straight up into the storage system and then kind of go from there. Um, that way we basically open up this entire wall over here. Cause if we, one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah. So this entire wall could end up being chickens as well. Um, so, so yeah, so that is kind of what, um, what the plans are for today. So the biggest thing is going to be getting the, uh, the RF tools storage system set up over here. And then I'm also going to be checking out the, um, the X net cables that were suggested by James. Um, they are definitely not something that I have used before. Uh, but they are relatively inexpensive because like this one here, I mean, it's string, redstone and a gold nugget. And, you know, and then, you know, if we want to do any of the other network cables, it's just, you know, using the dies to go with it. 
and all of that stuff. So in between the XNet and the um, and the RF tools, pretty much we've got all the chickens that are producing like loads of this stuff. And so hopefully we can get all of this set up. So I'm going to get to work on that. And then once I get um, get some of that set up, then I will bring you guys back. All right, I've made some progress on our little room here. First thing first, we've got the um, the fractionating stills going down into the compression dynamo, just like we do down, you know, in the, the little area down there. Um, I've only got three of these, um, the liquefacted coal in there right now. I have another one. It's still a baby down in the bottom. So we will have another one here. Um, and then... I went ahead and used the fluid ducts. I mean, I know, I know, I could have used the um, the connector cables here, but I, you know, I had extra fluid ducts, and I was like, you know what, just just to set this up, um, I really don't need this on the network, um, other than for actual energy, and so that's what these are all set up for. It's just energy. Now, one of the things that I discovered with the these, you know, with the XNet, is that if you hold one of the things and you sneak. You can see the cable. So this worked out really well because I was able to see where I needed to go with it. And I was able to dig through the wall and actually be able to get right, you know, without really guessing as to where, you know, where I needed to be. But as you can see, you can't, you can't see too far because yeah, as we, as we go, you can kind of see it because it's actually connected up to the, um, to this thing right here, the medium storage crate. As you can see, we have absolutely nothing in here because it's all being brought into the system now. Um, so this is the first thing that I've set up and I wanted to bring you guys in to kind of show you what I'm doing before I get too far into it. Um, right now, everything is going into this one right here. And with these ones that, you know, have a lot of, you know, stacks and stuff, I might actually create a storage drawer for these. That's one of the reasons why the, the room is as big as it is. Because I can access the storage drawers through the storage scanner. Because if we come down here, you can see, you know, you can see them showing up here. Um, but that is, you know, that we're not gonna we're not gonna deal with that quite yet. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be the main storage area. So things that have, you know, huge stack amounts and stuff, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna end up making, you know, probably storage drawers for those as they can actually store a lot more stuff. Um, now with the actual XNet controller, this is what, you know, what you end up needing. Um, I set up two, basically two channels. Um, channel one is my energy channel. And as you can see, it's just down here, um, that I have these. So this is like the storage scanner. And then these are the fractionating stills, the control and the controller. And then these ones are the, um, the compression dynamos. So with these, basically what, you know, what I did is I just said, Hey, I want to insert energy into, you know, the storage scanner and then all of these, and then I want to extract it from the, the compression dynamos. And then with the, with channel, so the yellow is the energy and the green is the, um, is the items. And so I'm extracting from the medium storage crate, which is in the, um, in the mob farm. And then I'm inserting it into uh, into these items here. Um, so we've got, you know, the, the different modular storage and stuff on here and it's all inserting into this first one that, that it ends up hitting. So it comes down here and the first one it hits is this one right here. And that's the reason why that is the first one that is going to be going. So it's either going to be this one or this one that's going to start, you know, filling up after that. But like I said, especially with these items that, you know, we'll end up with a lot of stacks of, um, so we've got arrows and bones, there's gunpowder, rotten flesh, solidified experience, um, probably spider eyes and string because string, especially because that actually comes down from the, uh, the farm as well. Um, so there's, you know, all the items that we have downstairs as well that we have to worry about. So if we come down here, so yeah, so I would like to be able to actually hook up all of these things into um, into the actual storage system. So, um, one of the products is, in, you know, is string. So then what I will probably do is, um, maybe set up another, you know, like the, the storage crate, um, on top of them, just like I had before, and then just suck it out from the storage crate and up into, you know, up into the actual storage system. So that is where I am sitting at right now in terms of getting things set up 
Um, it is taking a little bit longer than, you know, kind of anticipated. Oh, oh, and anti-barrel. So this was one of the things it is. It is a quest. Um, the anti-barrel, cause I had got, I was going through this before and I saw this, I'm like, wait a minute. And I read the thing and it's like, oh, that's what I was looking for. So this allows you, whoa, whoa, um, wow, really wrong buttons. Um, this allows you to basically take anything that doesn't stack and put it in this. And so I actually had this on priority one insert. And so the, um, the controller will first try to insert it into this anti-barrel. And then if it can't insert it in there, it starts putting it into the actual storage system. So yeah, so that, that was, I was definitely really happy when, you know, when I remembered that because all the stuff from like the mob farm, cause I had what, one, two, three, four, I had four double chests of stuff that, you know, was non-stackable. Um, and so now we have, you know, someplace to actually put those and it can hold up to 8,192 types. So lots and lots of, you know, area that we can actually end up storing stuff. So I am going to continue moving all of the wonderful, um, wonderful stuff from downstairs up here. Now that we've actually got, you know, a system in place. And then, um, I will probably, I might end up setting up a couple more of these as well. Cause I do have two more of the liquefacted, um, coal cows down in the, um, store or in the machine room that's already down there. So I might just. We might create just a wall of, of generators and stuff. Um, I also need to look at actually upgrading these as well. So once I get that finished, then I will bring you guys back and show you what I've done. The machinery room is definitely, you know, it's definitely coming along quite nicely. Um, I did end up uh, making a black hole unit, and this was one of the quests um, in storage. So the black hole unit, it can hold up to 2 trillion. I think that's, let's see, thousand million trillion. Yes. 2 trillion, um, items of one item. And so this one I've actually designated as cobblestone since I was having, you know, I had a lot of cobblestone, um, in the system. And so let's see, let's go ahead and come over here. So because two of the things that I didn't do is I um, wanted to show you, you know, I didn't show you guys the actual recipes and stuff for it. So the black hole unit, it's the plastic and the eye of ender and ender pearl chest and, you know, machine frame, either from the Tesla core or from thermal expansion. You also got the steel casing for mechanism and the symbol machine chassis from ender IO. Um, and then let's see the anti, it was the anti, anti barrel. So anti uh, there it is. Okay. Anti-barrel. So it's a diamond, nether brick, block of quartz, and an ender chest in order to make those. So yeah. So, um, yeah, you can definitely tell that there's, you know, a few things kind of going on. Um, I am definitely loving XNet for this. These are actually facades. There is a cable that is running in there. And all you do is you make the facade and you click on whatever block you want it to copy and it makes the facade for you. So if we come up here, this is actually going to be the space for any of the, um, the basic, you know, the different drawers and stuff. Um, since these can, you know, kind of hold a whole lot of stuff. I really don't want these items going into, you know, into the storage. As you can see, we've already got, this one is already 300 out of 300 and 289 out of 300. And so these are just, you know, random stuff. Granted, like the arrows, the bones, um, yeah, probably the chicken manure. I don't know why cobblestone ended up going in here. Um, I'll end up having to take that out and put that into the other one. But yeah, so some of these ones that are a little bit um, higher in terms of like the amount of stuff coming in, like the stuff for the mob farm. Um, I want to, you know, kind of make sure that it is, you know, going where it's supposed to be. Let's see, where is, okay, black hole unit. And yeah, it is insert and yeah, priority of a hundred. Okay. So these must have gotten put in here on, you know, on, um, Oh, do you know what? I know, I know, I know, I know what it is. Okay. It is, it's this right here. Um, I don't think I put the black hole unit. See, I got the anti barrel. Oh, I need to, I need to do a rescan because some of this stuff got moved. 
So if we come down here, let's find the black hole unit. Da, 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 da. Let's see, where are you? Yeah, it's picking up a lot of the stuff that I don't necessarily need. Let's see, inner chests. Let's see, fractionating stills. Okay, where is... Uh, oh, black hole unit. Okay, here we go. All right, yeah. So this wasn't this wasn't put down as being ratable. And so when I put the cobblestone back into the system, it put it in here instead of in there. Because basically what I'm having to do is as I'm setting different things up, you know, I set up the different channels and, you know, let it know, okay, well, this is something that I need insert, you know, insert energy, insert or extract from the, um, for the items and then also insert or extract liquid because I've got, I brought the latex processing unit over here. So it's actually bringing the latex up from the top up there. And then, you know, that, you know, allows it to come down here. And now I've already, I've turned this off uh, because I don't, you know, I don't need it creating any more right now. Um, and so, but yeah, so I set this up and then, you know, what I have to do down here is that then I have to identify, okay, well, this is something I need to be able to access, you know, for the storage tablet. And so, cause with the storage tablet right here, I can pretty much anywhere, just as long as I have power. I can access whatever is, you know, access basically this storage scanner and I can, you know, I can see everything that I have, you know, in, you know, in the system. And then I can also, you know, pull stuff out of, you know, like here, like I can actually pull stuff out, but I can't put stuff back into it. So, oh, and with this, um, let's see, um, if we go here, it's basically the storage tablet plus, oh, uh, plus the storage control screen module. Um, so that is done with a crafting table, iron, redstone, and um, some kind of black ink or black dye. And the storage tablet is the emerald, yeah, the emerald, gold nuggets, redstone block, and quartz. So really, really easy recipes. That's one of the reasons why I really like ARF tools. Because it's not convoluted like the... Um, like the, what is it? Applied energistics. Is that what this is? Uh, let's come down here. Yeah. Applied energistics. And plus another, another thing is, is that this, and I think this dark utilities has been causing some errors and stuff when I tried to load the world. And so that's another reason for me to, you know, try to kind of get away from the applied energistics stuff. So that is, you know, that is what I'm currently, you know, trying to, to figure out. So I've already got most of the stuff already moved out. From here, there's still stuff that is, you know, that is being accessed by this. Um, and some of them in random places. So I need to, you know, I need to have that hooked up at some point. But if we come down here, as you can see, I've already, you know, I've already taken out, you know, pretty much everything except this one. This has everything taken out. That is, that is hooked up to this right here. So I don't want to take the, you know, that out because that's supplying this stuff which is supplying power to, to these here. So I don't want to mess with that as of yet. And then I still have all of these to deal with as well. Um, and then of course, you know, the stuff that's in here. So that is the, oh, and I've got, got rid of all of that storage there. So those are the, you know, the big things that I still need to do in terms of like moving storage. But um, yeah, this is, it, it, it's, it's taking a while because like all of this stuff I end up having, you know, I'm going to have to each individual one, set it up and then extract all the stuff. Cause it, yeah, these are, I mean, like this one has 5,000 in it already. So yeah, so it's, it's, it, you know, it's definitely, definitely a process, but that's something I'm going to be working on, um, over the next week. And then, oh, and then this we have, it's a, it's all gone. It's now all, everything is, you know, getting sucked up by the roost collector and then getting pushed straight into the system. So we don't have to worry about, you know, about having the, the storage and stuff there. And so, you know, of course we, we still got to get rid of these and, you know, I still, yeah, I still got to, you know, get a whole bunch of stuff. Um, what I probably want to do is I want to automate, um, this, if I can remember how, um, that way we can kind of get stuff going and smelt it up. And cause the, the one guy is still going strong. I don't think he's, um, I don't think he's working now cause he's probably run out of power. Yeah. He's run out of power. 
But yeah, this guy's been the one working and he's been getting me all of these wonderful things. And yeah, it's like, I think that that's iron. Yeah, iron. I have over 13, almost 14,000 of those. So yeah, he, he doesn't need to be working right now. I've got lots and lots of stuff from him already. And so it's just a matter of getting that stuff processed and all that. Oh, and I upgraded, I upgraded all of these to, uh, the, to the Signalum, which is what I had before. And then I discovered that I had two resonant upgrades and from, I'm, I'm assuming is from one of like the loot chests or something. Oh, and one of the things I need to add that in there. But yeah, so that's one advantage of going through the system and stuff. It's like, oh, uh, okay. I didn't realize I had that. So I'm going to continue moving all of the storage and stuff. And then I think the next major project is to actually um, get things fixed with the, uh, with the mob farm. Because I want to go ahead and combine the two mob farms. That way I don't have, you know, I don't have two of them uh, what? trying to run at the same time. So we've got the, the Wither Skelly farm that we just built. We've got, you know, we've got skulls. In fact, I think, come in here. Yeah, I've got, I've got four in the system right now and I might ha still have some down there. Um, I use some of them in order to create the seeds, the, you know, the wither skeleton seeds. Um, and that's actually down, you know, I have that down, I think down around here. Yeah. So, and we're, we're already up almost to 2000 on those already. So as you can see, I've, I definitely, I've definitely been working, um, you know, so it's had time to, to run and all of that. And then, you know, also I want to get this stuff into the system as well. So yeah, so I'm going to continue working on that and then I'll come up with a plan for how to deal with the, um, with the mob farms and then we'll get to work on that in the next episode before, you know, we, we I want to try to get everything organized before we kind of move on to anything else as, you know, things are starting to get a little crazy, especially since we're going to be getting into the other mods. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you did, definitely hit that like button. If you're not already subscribed, please do so. It definitely helps out the channel. And it's always nice to see new faces in my little corner of YouTube. And if you want to be notified as to when I put out additional content, then definitely hit that notification bell. But for now, I'm going to call it. And I will see you guys in the next episode.